H55 slash H50 mod. Alright, so real quickly before I get into any of the specifications of what you should get or um, anything of that sort, I'm just going to explain um, real quickly how this mod will work. So pretty much we're going to have the liquid which is in the reservoir um, that will go to the uh, pump, then the pump to the radiator and radiator back to the reservoir. Hey, uh, okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to be going over what you will be needing for your H55 mod. So what you'll be obviously needing is the AIO cooler, whether you might be the H55 or the H15. Uh, what you're also going to need is a reservoir. I picked mine from uh, SwiftTech and um, you will be needing tubing. This is one fourth ID um, tubing. Uh, you can find this on Amazon. I will be list, um, having my um, list of stuff that you'll be needing like uh, links to Amazon to buy the H55 and the Swift Tech and that. Some of the stuff will be not available on Amazon. I think like the reservoir isn't. But what else you'll be needing is one fourth um, fittings. Uh, I do not have it over here shown because um, it's in my reservoir in my system currently. So yeah. Pretty much what I'm going to demonstrate right now is I'm going to show you what you would do when you do have the tubing and the proper fittings though this will not fit into the quarter range I'm just going to demonstrate it. What you would normally do is just the f outside of the tubing I guess would normally go right around the fitters or the fittings whatever and, and they would pretty much um, be really tight. You would have to push a lot so don't be uh, worried if you think you're going to actually break it. Um, nothing will happen really just keep on pushing and um, you'll get it, the tubing around the fitters or fitting Okay, so once you have taken off the tubing from the H55 or the H50 AIO cooler what you must do is dump out the antifreeze from the radiator and the water um, CPU block slash pump. So when you to do that, you could just um, dump it out by putting it on a side and letting it flow out. You could try that after a while, like you know, most of it would come out. But to, to make sure like all of it's out, you could put some water uh, into one of, uh, through one of the holes, um, then shake it around and then dump it out again. When you do this, um, be careful, uh, especially with the um, CPU block slash pump because you don't want any of the water to get into the actual pump, um, like the, I guess, the components part, like the little like chip in within the pump or whatever, it's because uh, some, it could potentially um, lower the performance of the pump, or you may just have to wait a whole day for it to dry, or it might just break completely. The way I know that the pump can be potentially damaged via water is because I had to buy another H50 slash H55 full because I had let it uh, water seep into one of the like uh, holes where the wires come out, and because of that, the pump wouldn't be as powerful compared to the new one that I bought afterwards. I have found out that it was broken. So I'm gonna tell you guys how to do the proper tubing or how to connect the tubing to the correct ports from the reservoir, the radiator, and pump slash block. Um, so let's start off from the diagram. This is only for Swift Tech um, reservoirs. This specific reservoir is listed there. Um, it's different for uh, each one because of the intake and the outtake or output whatever um, ports. Uh, it should specify in the manual you can. It does in the Swift Tech one. But I'm just I'm doing all this just to I guess um, I don't know I, will, I don't know why I'm really doing this. I'm just doing this just so other people can get confused or aren't as confused that have a Swift Tech reservoir or will get one. So pretty much um, the blue. Um, the ports that are colored blue on the radiator and the pump, they connect obviously. It's going to be the right one on uh, the radiator and the one that is on top on the pump. Uh, those two should connect with any tubing, one fourth ID um, tubing. And then the reds, obviously the one that's on the left side of the 
radiator and the top one on the reservoir and the green which is on the bottom of the pump and bottom of the reservoir now one thing to keep in mind is um, measure out how much tubing you need like it might be a good idea to uh, place the reservoir and the pump and like whatnot into your computer and like screw everything in and then put in tube in, uh, tubing so, um, that's what I kind of did and uh, yeah pretty much I have run the benchmark to see the overall performance of the computer uh, with the H55 or H50 mod uh, and the highest it has been currently is 65 degrees and that's only like a 20 degrees difference which I'm pretty surprised so yeah, uh, I would show you the benchmark scores, but the thing is, I need to be online and well, as you can see, I'm offline, so yeah. But normally, uh, when I did benchmark this, I got like a 2, 2600 or a 2500 around that range.